What's going on, Internet? I am the Mass Man, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about George Wallace Unsung Special. Now, <clears throat> out of all the, the um, unsung specials that I've seen so far on Unsung Hollywood, this is probably the most upbeat, um, the most upbeat and um, constructive special that I've seen. I think some of that has to do with George Wallace still being alive. Um, and um, him being fairly consistent throughout most of his career but out of all of them I think that this is probably the most light hearted the most fun and the most pleasant to watch this this is this is the one that you can um you know watch um you know, watch with your family, you know, watch with, um, you know, people that you like and not, not end up depressed after you see it. <clears throat> George Wallace, a uh, comedian, uh, is, you know, one of, one of the, um, one of the, you know, the bigger underground hip hop comics now. I don't say underground as to say that he's not known, but in comedy you have like you have two types, you have two tiers. You have the guys that are trying to be famous, who are trying to get a show, who are trying to get some type of deal, who are trying to um, be in a movie, and you have the guy who work the clubs, who work the club circuit who make a living off of touring, who make a living off of having shows. And George Wallace is, I refer to him as this, but I don't know if many other refer to him as this. I refer to George Wallace as the king of the clubs um, because he's the guy that Chris Rock always says that he wanted to grow up to be. He wanted to be George Wallace because George Wallace made a whole lot of money um, being in nightclubs, doing shows, uh, just being funny. He didn't. He didn't need a show. He didn't need a special. <coughs> he was just that funny guy who could get on stage and rock the house. Um, George Wallace talks a whole lot about Jerry Seinfeld and him being best friends. Um. Jerry Seinfeld was an unsung um, I'm not going to really say anything about that I mean I just I guess that um, because I, I don't really know why he does it I don't know why he brings up Jerry Seinfeld's name as much as he does I don't know if that's like um, him bragging that he's friends with Jerry or if it's kind of like promotion, you know, like I'm friends with Jerry Seinfeld. Come see my show. I like, I don't, I don't understand the motivation behind that. So I can't really criticize, you know, him for bringing up Jerry Seinfeld's name so much, but they did talk about uh, the friendship that he and Jerry Seinfeld had. Uh, for I don't know 30 years they've been friends uh, George Wallace considers them best friends Jerry Seinfeld considers them good friends so I think George likes Jerry a little bit more than Jerry likes George um, George Wallace never got married never had any children um, he, there was one woman that he was in love with but she married another man because she didn't want to put those problems on George um I guess shit like that happens, uh, which which is which is kind of interesting. You you have one woman um, that you want to give it up to, and then that and that doesn't work out, and you know then you do something else. I really like I really like the George Wallace special, you know, because it kind of shows an alternative life. And, you know, somebody who's comfortable with it. 
and it's not an alternative life like he's living with you know a man or he's you know a transgender but it's it's an alternative life like this man didn't follow the the model that you're supposed to follow you know you know go to school get a good job get married uh have 2.5 kids you know die it, he didn't he didn't follow that model he's living life like he wants to and some people may look at him and say well he feels this way he feels that way but he seems like a happy guy and you know you know i really think about how i want to live my life and what i want to do and i think about do i want certain things because i genuinely want them for myself or do i want them because society tells me that i'm supposed to do certain things so it's nice to see a guy who lived life on his own terms who lived life the way that he saw fit who did things according to his own his own rules now they had to squeeze some tragedy into the george wallace story they i think somebody in his family died or got killed or something so they had to work that in but he seemed pretty ambivalent about the whole thing he seemed like he like he was strong and he was um you know cool with it um but george wallace has had a huge impact on comedy george wallace has um he really needs I wish George Wallace was more mainstream and I guess that's and not even mainstream to white America just mainstream to black folks because I don't <clears throat> I'm not somebody who shits on the chitlin circuit uh, or as they call like the black where black people you know would run like I wish that more black people knew about George Wallace and appreciated George Wallace and made opportunities for George Wallace to shine more and to do more and be seen more like these. These old comics are elite. Like they are, they are elite. Like guys like, you know, Sinbad, you know, and George Wallace. You know, these are guys who are just fundamentally sound in stand up comedy and can really run circles around a lot of guys today who young people really think are hot. But they ain't they ain't fucking with these guys and they don't get their respect as legend. And I think George Wallace has put in enough work, you know, visible work that you can point to as well as just being an underground legend and work in Vegas, that he has a legitimate claim to be recognized amongst the greats. So I got to give it up to George Wallace. I really appreciated his unsung special. I like how he flipped the tone and made that negative, sad-ass show a little positive for a change and kind of made it upbeat. Um, I recommend that anybody... Who doesn't know about the comedian George Wallace to look him up, look at some of his work. He's very talented, one of the best to ever do it. Um, and the unsung special was a really nice job. I actually liked this show. I actually liked it. You know, it wasn't something that I just had to suck in the information. I actually liked the whole show. The whole presentation, how it was done. You know, George Wallace hasn't done enough mainstream stuff to really give him to really give him a documentary. So it fit having him in this, you know, 40 minute show, even though he's a legend, there's not much work that you can pull out and, and pop in. There's not a whole lot of his recorded work. So it made sense. It was upbeat because he's still alive and he probably had some influence over the tone and over how it was presented. Um, got a lot of information that I wasn't aware of that I didn't know in the special. So all in all, I actually liked it and I recommend that you check it out if you have not seen it. Um, leave comments. Let me know what you think about George Wallace. Let me know what you think about the Unsung special, what you think about Unsung in general. 
um, rate my video, like it, dislike it, be honest. Um, you can subscribe to my channel if you want to keep up with the videos that I'm making. <laughs> If there's a subject that you would like me to talk about, you can send me an email at the Mr. Mass Man at gmail.com. No relationship questions, please. Um, you can send me, you can follow me on Twitter or find me on Facebook at the Mr. Mass Man. Um, that is all I have to say about this subject. So I will see you in the next video.